Hey everyone, this is Rascal, and welcome to part 11 of the LBS LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Revenge of the Sith, Chapter 5, Ruin of the Jedi! Palpatine has issued Order 66, turning the clone army against the Jedi. Across the galaxy, clones have gunned down their Jedi generals. Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi have survived and head for the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. They hope to find some answers to this shocking turn of events within the Jedi Archives. Yeah, they find something, alright. Dead bodies. I know, that's a bad. That's bad, I know, I know. Wow, this place is completely destroyed. No, be one or not. Don't be fooled, these are actually clone troopers. Wow, that was perfectly easy. Yoda, you can attack them, you know. This is what I mean. The AI is a bit stupid. Unless you're the one doing something, it won't know what to do. You know, those are pretty bad doors to block the entrance to the Jedi Temple. I mean, they're wonky, they're not meant for this. Ugh. Yeah, there's a lot of ways you can get your uh, true Jedi. Now this is actually the way to go, but I completely forgot. There you go, that will help. Not what I wanted. You're wondering what's attacking me, it's those little uh... Yeah, those little uh, orb things Obi-Wan was using to train Luke in episode 4. I really hate that. I don't know why I'm trying to go for true Jedi. I don't care. I know that's right. No, it's the stairs behind you past me. Yeah, there is a secret in there, obviously. Come on. Oh, you're a commander. That's why it took a little much longer. Gotta be two to open these door. This door. These doors. Ugh. Freaking cold. There, that's a lot faster. Just jump slash. Okay. That was quite sad. Easy. Yeah, this 
So now we have a little bit of a puzzle to do. On to the right here, you have uh, switches on the top. You have to pull them in order to uh, gain access to the end of the level. This will power up that little door over there to, so you can continue on with your journey. God, I hate it when games do that. They tease you with something like that right there. Use free play mode in order to access. Fuck you. <clears throat> Woo! I'm so glad I didn't fall down. Yeah, you gotta do this at least three. You gotta do it three times in order to advance. And it's annoying as all hell. No, I don't need you. There you go. And now that we've done that, come on. There you go. Whoa! Ambush! Wow, that was a pathetic ambush. No past me, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, this is actually the end of the level. This is a pretty short level. Now you have to do this, you gotta hold it in order to power it up. I don't know what I was thinking. Come on, there we go. Now that it's powered up, and the mission auto ends. <laughs> it's pretty dark. You know, for a kid's game, that's pretty savage. Alrighty, we are almost done this game. Well, we're halfway done almost. Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Chapter 6, Darth Vader. Anakin Skywalker wants the young pod racing champion of Tatooine, Paddle onto Obi-Wan Kenobi, and hero of the Clone Wars has finally given his secrets emotions and fallen to the dark side. His wife Padme rushes to the volcanic world of Musafar, hoping to turn Anakin back from the dark path. She has no idea that Anakin's former master, Obi-Wan, is hiding aboard her ship. Now, if I remember correctly, she he chokes her in the movie. Okay. Episode 3 in general was the best of the three. It's just that it was a little too emotional. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean. Um, it was too much of the fact that Anakin was being emo and, uh, you know. Yeah, there, God, I almost fell. So yeah, technically you and Anakin are enemies during the cutscenes, but in the non-cutscenes, you and Anakin are best friends. Yeah, you actually have to work together with your friend or the AI in order to progress with the uh, level. I'm not lying. It's so stupid. Now, I actually didn't like this fight in the movie. It w It is one of the best looking fights. It's just that at some points when they're just turning their lightsabers or, you know, uh... Obi-Wan should have just played the, you know, the mentor and tried to get him back to the light side. Oh, now we have a... Now we know why Anakin why has no more ass. Oh, I hate this fucking 
I died so many times right here. Because if you're not careful, you will die. Go, Anakin. See, this is what I mean. You two have to work together. Although you two are enemies, you're best friends in the non in the cut not in the cutscenes. But in the cut in the cutscenes, you two are the worst of enemies. And the odds of you two falling on that platform were so freaking low. Yeah, I'm sorry for the bad editing. I had so many deaths at these points. It was ridiculous. There are some levels where they just give you true Jedi. Then there are some that are just like, oh my god, it's so convoluted. Alright, just like any other boss fight. Do the Jedi Smash. Or the special Jedi Jump. And you'll kill Anakin in no time. Yeah, don't even try doing a fair fight kind of thing. Because there's no point. I've never been able to even fight them fairly. <clears throat> well, there goes, uh... Well, Anakin is now officially dead. Yeah, you know, Obi-Wan, just to... You know, be merciful. I know Jedi don't do this usually, but you could have pushed him into the lava. <clears throat> Rather than leaving him there to die in pain and suffering. Hey look, it's Luke and Leia. And Padme dies. I thought those were droids, not the Puans. Or whatever that species is called that was on the... Uh, that was there. And this would have been a great scene if it wasn't for the no. Seriously. This would have been the best scene in the entire movie if it wasn't for that freaking no. And this part's coming to an end, so join me next time as we start episode 4. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day or night.